Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week so far and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here then welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play. It's a six round quiz in the style of a pub quiz and I will explain the rules of each round before the round begins. Now there is no leaderboard this week which I usually do as I was away last week on holiday and we are away again this weekend but the leaderboard will be back next week and there were some brilliant comments um, from two weeks ago when there was no leaderboard. So many people scored their highest ever scores so I am sorry for that. Uh, typical isn't it but that's the way it goes sometimes. So let's have a look at the six rounds we will be playing this week. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three is called colors and numbers. That's the double points round. Round four is a pictogram round. Round five is called any 10. And the final round is general knowledge. So I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final rounds. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. Round one is the picture round, and there are 10 pictures in this round. Number one, who is this from the world of TV and film? Number two, who are these from the world of music? And number three, name the sports star. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? And you do need to give me both of them. Number five, what is the name of this island group? And number six, name the animal. Number seven, name the video game. Number eight, name the composer. Number nine, which company has this logo? And the last one, number 10, what is this a close up of? Round two is the entertainment round and there are 10 questions in this round. Number one, which actor best known for action films starred alongside Dolly Parton in the 1984 film Rhinestone? And number two, complete the title of this 2000 song by the Baha Men. Who let the blank out? Fill in the blank. Number three. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were getting bigger. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make the steady figure. 
uh, lyrics in which song. And number four, name the film from these characters. And number five, according to the lyrics, what three colours are the dreams in the song Karma Chameleon by The Culture Club? Are they red, gold and green, blue, gold and green, or pink, gold and green? Number six, which actress appeared in all three of the following films? Kramer vs. Kramer, Mamma Mia, and Little Women. Number seven, in the Peter Pan films, what type of animal was TikTok? Number eight, name the album and the singer from this album cover. Get half a point for each. And it was released in 1973. Number nine, Kirk Lazarus, Les, Les Grossman, and Tug Speedman's, Speedman are characters in which Ben Stiller film. And number 10, what was the first TV show to feature a home computer? Was it Batman or The Addams Family? That's the end of the first two rounds. I will now go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. The answers are round one. Number one, this TV or movie star is Hugh Jackman. And number two, the duo from the world of music is The Carpenters. And the sportsman is Charles Leclerc. And number four, from when they were young, we do need both. It is a young Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan. And number five, the island group is the Balearics. Number six, the animal is a tardigrade, also known as a water bear. So you get a point if you put water bear. And number seven, the video game or the video game series, it is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Number eight, the composer is Tchaikovsky. And number nine is the logo for Bosch. And number 10, the close up. I should have gone a bit closer, really. It is the pocket of a snooker table. The answers are round two. Number one, who starred alongside Dolly Parton in the film Rhinestone? That is Sylvester Stallone. And number two, who let the dogs out? And number three, a lyrics in the song, Seven Years. And number four, the film is Chicken Little. And number five, the colour of the dreams in the song Karma Chameleon are red, gold, and green. I hope a few of you were singing it. And number six, the actress that appeared in the three following films is Meryl Streep. Number seven, in the Peter Pan films, TikTok was a crocodile. And number eight, the name of the album and the singer, so half a point for each. The album is Goodbye Yellow Brick Roads by Elton John. 
And number nine, Kirk Lazarus, Les Grossman, and Tug Speedman are characters in Tropic Thunder. And the last one, number 10, the first TV show to feature a home computer was The Addams Family. Round three this week is called Numbers and Colours. Now this is a round where there are two points available per question, 20 points up for grabs, the way this round works. You will see two questions on your screen and underneath there are four possible answers. You just need to connect the correct answer to the correct question for the point. And being a numbers and colors round, five of the questions, the answers will be numbers, and five of them, they will be colors. Now I'll give you 25 seconds for each set of two. I hope that's enough time and best of luck.
Round four is the pictogram round. For those of you who haven't played before, the way the round works is really easy. It's very similar to the TV show Catchphrase. So I'll give you a quick example. You will see an image on your screen that I've created just like this. And if you can see at the bottom, I'm looking for the title of a song. So from the picture, the lady in the red paint, the song would be Lady in Red. So I hope that makes sense. And there are 10 in total in this round. The answers for round three, number one, the number of even numbers on a roulette wheel is 18, and the film is 17 again. So a point for each correct answer. Number two, the United Nations flag consists of white and blue, and the cross on the flag of Ireland is red. Number three, the century in which the artist Johannes Vermeer was born is the 17th century, and the Hundred Years' War ended in the 15th century. Number four, when exposed to oxygen, lobster blood is blue, and the jersey given to the overall winner of the Gyro d'Italia is pink. Number five, Len Goodman has a unique way of saying seven, and the film is District Nine. Number six, the door of the home of Bilbo Baggins in Lord of the Rings is green, and on the logo of Lego, Lego is, the word is white. Number seven, the highest diving board at the Olympics is 10 meters, and there are five Great Lakes in North America. Number eight, the Italian town where a well-known battle took place is magenta, and the mix of dark and gray is tarp, I think that is. I hope I said that correctly. Number nine, the possible outcomes on the roll of three dice is 216, and the Panama Canal is 50 miles long. Number 10, the video game character Mario has blue eyes and Peter Griffin wears green trousers.
The answers for the pictogram round number one, the crime, well done if you got this one, is hijacking. Hijack king. And number two, the country is Poland. Number three, the saying or phrase is two steps forward and one step back. And number four, the food. Oh dear, I need to grow up. It is runner beans. Number five, the saying or phrase is mind over matter. And number six, another saying or phrase is the long arm of the law. Number seven, the song is murder on the dance floor. And number eight, the rapper and actor is LL, LL Cool J. And number nine, the film is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And the last one, the ideolo ideological, <laughs> ideological barrier is an iron curtain. So that's the end of round four. I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are having fun, please do just take 10 seconds out to click the like button. It makes a huge difference to how YouTube promotes my videos and a big, big thank you to everybody who does so on a regular basis. So we'll now go into the final two rounds the, and the answers will follow immediately after. Round five is the any 10 round. The way this round works, on the next screen, you're going to see two questions. Each require 10 answers, and you can choose which question you would like to answer. Now you can't pick both of them, you have to pick one, so pick the one you know the most about, or have the best chance to get him. Now once you've read the question, you have roughly one minute to come up with your 10. So option one, name the 10 events in a decathlon. Or option two, if you'd prefer, name any 10 chemical elements that begin with the letter C, out of a possible 12. You have one minute. Round six, the final round is general knowledge and there are 10 questions in this round. Number one, which animal is generally considered as the closest living relative to the T-Rex? Number two, according to the US committee investigating the sinking, how many people died when the Titanic sank. So you can be 150 above or below with your guess. Number three, which European capital city overlooks the Tagus River? Number four, hairpin, turn, hairpin turns sorry, are associated with which sport? Number five, which card game was formerly known as Von Un?
number six, which term describes the time taken for half the atoms in a sample of radioactive isotope to decay? Number seven. There are three official languages of the Olympic Games. The host nation's language and English are two. What is the third? Is it French or Greek? Number eight. What is the term used to describe the food that is fit or proper according to Jewish dietary laws? And number nine, which planet's moons are mostly named after Shakespeare characters? Is it Jupiter or Uranus? And the last one, number 10. There are three countries in the world outside of Africa that begin with the letter E. Name any two of them. The answer to round five, option one, the 10 event in the decathlon. Well, so you get one point for every correct one. They are the 100 meters long jump, shot put, high jump, 400 meters, 110 meter hurdles, discus, pole vault, javelin, and the 1500 meters. Or if you went for option two, 10 chemical elements that begin with the letter C. So from a possible 12, they are cadmium, calcium, californium, carbon, Cerium, cesium, chlorine, chromium, cobalt, coppernicium, copper, and curium. The answer to round six, which animal is generally considered as the closest living relative to the T-Rex? That is the chicken. Number two, how many people died when the Titanic sank? So if you said anywhere between 1,367 to 1,667, you have the point. Number three, which European capital city overlooks the Tagus River? That is Lisbon. And number four, hairpin turns are associated with motor racing. And number five, the card game formerly known as Von Un, is Blackjack, or 21. And number six, which term describes the time taken for half the atoms in a sample of isotope to decay? It is half-life. I think I've used that one before. And number seven, the three official languages of the Olympic Games are the host nation, English and French. And number eight, the term used to describe food that is fit or proper in Jewish dietary laws is kosher. And number nine, the moons of which planet are named after Shakespeare characters is Uranus, or mainly after Shakespeare characters. And the last one, number 10, three countries outside of Africa begin with the letter E. So if you said any two from Ecuador, El Salvador and Estonia, you have the point. That's the end of the quiz. I know I always say it, but a big, big thank you for playing. Truly is appreciated. And I've realised I've made a slight mistake this week. I didn't add a tiebreaker. Uh, it's too late for me to do so now. So there could be quite a lot of tie positions in next week's leaderboards. And also, just before I go to the shout outs, a big thank you to everybody who commented on my videos over the last 10 days. I know I haven't been very active, uh, but I appreciate every single one of you. Big, big thank you. And I have gone through them, uh, have gone through them now. I'm not gonna have time to reply to every single one, uh, but just to let you know, I have read them. And again, a big thank you. So just before I go, a few shout outs to do. As always, I will begin with the birthdays. I will start by wishing a happy birthday to Liam.
Happy 36th birthday to Michael Wildin. Happy birthday to Brogan. Love that name. Happy birthday to happy 50th birthday to Michelle. Love from Matt and love from me. Happy 13th birthday to Bobby Newbold. Happy birthday to Philip Bowen. Happy 34th birthday to Claire from Team Irvine's. Happy 21st birthday to Lucas. Happy birthday to Dominic. Happy 52nd birthday to Liz from Team Asgardians. Also love that team name. And happy 18th birthday to Luca. So just a couple more to do. I'd like to say a big hello to Sam, Toby, Sam, Toby, Amy and Dave, also known as the Gilmore clan. Um, yeah, they play every week. So hello to you all. And the last one, congratulations to Luke and Holly who have just got married. So I hope you had the most wonderful day and best of luck. Uh, for the future. So that is the end of the shout outs. Once again, big thank you for playing. Have a great weekend and see you next week.